Well, welcome to Leadville, Colorado. We have six minutes till race time. This 21 miles will test your endurance. There's just nothing like it. We're cinching up Banjo Man. There's a lot more to it than just being a good runner. Good girl, Mary Margaret, good girl. <laughs> it's a burrow race, it's not a human race. <laughs> burrow racing is a, uh, it's a team sport between a human and a critter. <laughs> We're in our 73rd year as pack burrow racers. <laughs> burrow racing has been around since 1949. 2012, we took uh, Pack Bro Racing to the Capitol, and we were able to get them to uh, make it the Colorado uh, Summer Heritage Sport. So we are a state sport here in Colorado. You can't make a borough do anything it doesn't want to do. It, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, you have to have a relationship with you, so you have to start training. Build this great camaraderie with these guys so that they are trusting you. So we call it the burrow escalator. We we run behind our burrows on the on the uphills and we drive them up. And then we run from the from behind the animal and uh, the animal will pull us up the mountain. So it takes the weight off of us and the burrow does the work. What we do is we're basically the GPS. We make the burrow think it's their idea. We guide them through the course. Um, we turn them left, turn them right, get them going, hold them back. Come on, girls. This race is about the team that makes the fewest amount of mistakes. These aren't horses. These are donkeys. They come with their own set of rules and their own set of instructions. But burrow racing, um, honestly, it started because towns were dwindling. The mines were, were closing up and uh, they needed revenue. Um, and here in the great state of Colorado, some of these towns were turning into ghost towns pretty quick. And burrow racing came along and um, it became a great way for tourists to come and see the heritage of the town and what the town's always meant. Come up, come on, up, up, come up. If you sit down and you look at the history, less than a thousand people have done this sport in the last 73 years. It's gonna test your critter, it's gonna test everything. The donkeys can handle it for sure because they're being legged up, they're being trained. It's the humans I always worry about. So it's pretty remarkable to know that you're in this small club of, of folks that, uh, that have been able to negotiate and uh, broker a deal with a borough.